Hey everybody, it's Nick. So we are going to be playing a 5e Dungeons and Dragons campaign while I am writing the new seasons of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the Great Plains Ghostbusters Adventure Hour. Um, we do not have a name for this podcast yet, so if you guys have a suggestions, let me know at btspodcast at yahoo.com. The winner not only gets a shout out on the show and their name on the podcast, but also gets a shiny new pair of dice. So get those entries in quick. I know it's not a big prize, but that's all we got right now. Um, we're a small podcast, and we only make like $8 a month. Whatever. All right, here we go. Here's the show. In the city of Neverwinter, a dwarf named Gundren Rockseeker runs an adventure outfitter shop and has asked you, his employees, to bring a wagon load of provisions to the rough-and-tumble settlement of Phandalin, a couple days travel southeast of the city. Gundren was clearly excited and more than a little secretive about his reasons for the trip, saying only that he and his brother have found something big, and that he'd pay you ten gold pieces each for escorting his supplies safely to Barthen's Provisions, a trading post in Phandalin. He then set out ahead of you on horse, along with a warrior escort named Sildar Hallwinter, claiming he needed to arrive early to take care of business. You've spent the last few days following the high roads south from Neverwinter, and you've just recently veered east towards the Tribor Trail. You've encountered no trouble so far, but this territory can be dangerous. Bandits and outlaws have been known to lurk along the trail. We've got a wagon. Who's driving the wagon? Oh, I didn't say we were bringing my wagon. No. Oh, I have got a, cart. a donkey. So oh, got a, you got a cart, right? Is this a cart? You got a cart? Wow, she's rich. What would be the roll on that, or does it matter? Where would that be at? Actually, you don't have to. Roll I'll drive it. I would really like to drive a cart. Crazy you, don't have to, you don't have to roll to like move a horse around. I want to do it because or, I can keep my eyes out for any trouble my friends will run into. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Give me a perception check. Uh oh, I don't have my dice out. I'm riding in the cart. My mule, Cass, is tied to the cart, but not in a pulling manner. That irritates me. Go on. You can toss a rock in Cass. I thought we came so far. Here it is. <laughs> I've got a 17 plus 4. Okay. 21. You've been on the Tribor Trail for about half a day. As you come around a bend, you spot two dead horses sprawled about 50 feet ahead of you, blocking the path. Each has several black feathered arrows sticking out of it. The woods press close to the trail here, and the steep embarkment of dense thickets on either side. Whoa! Guys, look at these poor little horses in the road! Can I do another perception check to see if I notice anything else? Sure. Can I ask a question? 18. What is the perception check? <laughs> you roll a d20, and then you have a modifier. Right there. Right there. So you have a right plus one. Your, yeah, you have a plus one perception. It just means how well it's, you see things around you. Yeah. You can see okay. your, how observant you are of yeah, what's right. happening. Yeah. Like, okay. he pointed out the obvious that there are, you know, so you said black feathers and... But rolling a, so he tells you the obvious, doing a perception roll means you might see something that may not seem quite as obvious, but useful. So or ambushers I, I wanna, trees or a trap. I want to take my perception back and roll a um, investigation. Cool. That's a critical failure. Mm. There are no critical failures. I'm too busy noticing the poor dead horses. I'm so sad. Okay, so the, the horses still have, like, their saddlebags on them, but they've been dead for about a day. That's all you can really see. Can we go through their saddlebags? Sure. Fuck yeah, we can. What is that? Yeah. Does anyone else want to do it? Sure. What do I need to do? So you got off the wagon, too? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Anybody else get off the wagon? Me, but, yeah. I'm going to watch the priest defile the dead. <laughs> So does that I, mean I stay I use, here. I use the d20? Yes. 
And then, do I do perception? You can do a perception check. It's fine. Because you're not stealing anything. While you ladies are at it, pull out those arrows. They might come in handy later. I got 19. Does anybody else eat horse? I eat horse. They've been dead for a day. They're going to be rotten. It's like pizza. That stuff will last forever. What's pizza? (laughs) (laughs) If you don't know, I'm not going to explain it to you. So the saddlebags are empty, but there is an empty map container. Ooh, empty map container. Are the arrows crossbow or regular bow type things? (laughs) Hey, grab one of those sets of my saddle, of those saddlebags for Cass. I'm going to chuck a saddlebag at him. 13 versus your defense? You're going to die. What? Defense. Now I can't stop talking like this. Uh, how's defense? Um, armor class. Armor class is 16. Okay. Sonia, 10 against your armor class. 16. Okay. Two black arrows just fly right by you. I couldn't afford leather armor. Where do they, which way do they come from? You've only been on this adventure for five minutes and we're already being attacked. Because I want to take my short sword, actually my crossbow out, and run towards where the arrows came from. It's to the west. I'm heading that way. Running. Crossbow at the ready. Nobody shoots at my friends and gets away with it. She's a hot-headed little gnome. (laughs) I am strangely aroused. Sounds like you're acting over. Okay. She's gone. <laughs> Bye. Ah! Uh, all three feet of her. <laughs> yep. You just see her hopping through the. <laughs> well, people, it's been a lovely ambush, but I think I'm going to press on. <laughs> I'm three feet two inches. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm going to stay in the cart. Because I don't want to get shot at yet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, Ming, why don't you take over driving? You guys are just going to leave me? Ming, don't drive. Let's see here. I have and another one. arrow sh- I was shooting at you guys. Oh. At, uh, and I catch it out of the air. Sahara. You'll catch it. Okay, with your I face. run. 12. It misses you again. Okay. So I decide to chase after the little gnome. Oh, good. <laughs> We're murder hobos. <laughs> and as this is only for you, so as you're running up, two goblins come running out of the woods holding short swords. Okay. They don't look like they're very nice. First of all, I want to be like, I would know better than to try and talk to a goblin, right? I'm, I know they're not going to talk to me. Try. Maybe I mean, they're chatty. Why are you guys trying to hurt my friends and I? They told us to. Who's they? Our bosses. Who's, told us to kill you guys. Who's your boss? They're goblins who can't tell a lie. <laughs> Why would they right now? It doesn't matter. Stick ya! How about... How much are you getting paid? With our life. We don't kill you. We get killed. Okay, so there's no talking you out of this, because I really don't want to hurt you. No. All right. You gotta die. I'm just gonna shoot at the one closest to me, then. <laughs> so, is it gonna be roll a d20 plus attack bonus, or is there something else I need to add into that? Right now, it's just that in the tap bonus. Okay. It's a d20. I don't think I have a crossbow. So, I've got 16. You don't have a crossbow at all. Plus your, mo- your stat modifier, plus your proficiency modifier, which is 2. So, if uh, you're shooting something, you your dex modifier. Okay. Which three, is there. 3 plus 2, so your total bonus would be 5. Oh, okay. So, then I got 16. Oh, shit. No, wait, Shit. 5, 8, 19. Ha <laughs> ha, math. Math is smaller. <laughs> you get 5. Right here. Attack bonus? Oh, that's the total. That's, that is uh, Oh, 16. <laughs> so he's got an armor class of 15. Ooh, so I got him? Yep. 
1d8 plus 3 piercing. What are you using? A crossbow. That's interesting. Mm. 8, 9, 10, 11. <laughs> I feel awesome. <laughs> so I gotta take, keep track of my bolts. Guys, I really, really didn't want to do this to you. And he dies. No. Oh, that makes me sad. She feels sorry for the goblin. What, what damage does your crossbow do? 1d8 plus 3 piercing. It's a light crossbow. Don't steal it. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to steal it. Give me that little kid. Uh, some, of the, some of the weapons are large, and little people have problems using them. Well, this came like off of the loading. computer when Nick pulled the main point of the character. So she should be able to use a light crossbow. Yeah. It's just four feet long. <laughs> <laughs> Bigger than me. <laughs> light is a brand name. Uh, not, <laughs> not weight. Oh, well, you did give him his gift. <laughs> <laughs> so who's next, or am I still fighting? Well, should we roll initiative? Up? We should. Are you, you still guys on the are on the car. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're on the car. I'm running. I was saying, and I go where Sahedrin goes. <laughs> <laughs> and I always make sure I follow close behind. Because right, gonna... the view is magnificent. I'm going to jump off the cart and run and make sure they don't That would be help. an action. That's fine. You would need initiative. All right. So can I attack with my mace? Yes. Okay. So what does plus four, one d6, plus two bludgeoning mean? What? Read it one more time. Read it one more time. <laughs> it says plus four for at bonus. So that's what you would add. Plus four attack bonus. bonus. Okay. So you'd roll the d20 and add four, and that would be yep. your attack bonus. Okay, and then so... this is the damage. If you hit... That's what you roll to get your damage. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so I roll a 20 die, mm-hmm. or a d20, and I got 14 plus 4 is 18. Okay, yeah, you hit it. Okay. You square in the freaking hand. And then I take the 1d6, right? 4, 5, 6. You hit him hard, like... Like, Ivan Drago hard. Like, he's just like... <laughs> to smash him? <laughs> he's just like, wobbly. Like, he just... A bump <laughs> forms. <laughs> yep. <laughs> then he pushes it back in. <laughs> <laughs> Birds are flying around the top of his head. So are we rolling initiative? Yep, we are now. Okay, because I rolled a 21. 14. What's an initiative? Uh, right here, you roll a d20, and then if you have a modifier, you add it, but that is the order you will fight in. Shane, you got a what? Okay, 16. 21. I'm rolling great. Oh, I need 14. to play D&D yeah, like. more often. <laughs> I'm rolling pretty good, too. For my first time. I got 16. Four. Now, if players tie on initiative, they get to choose who goes first. If the bad guys tie on initiative, the DM gets to choose who goes first. And if the players and the monsters tie DM gets to choose. So, at any given round, we have the. You have to choose what you're going to do. And for the most part, you would do an action. An action could include using your weapon to attack. So, actions in combat are you can choose to attack, is an action, or you could use your act. You get one action, alright? Sometimes you can get bonus actions, but that'll be something special and you'll find out. Like, you might have a spell that you cast as a bonus action at some point, maybe not right now. So you could actually use an action to attack and then possibly use a bonus action to cast a spell. Or higher level rogues could use a bonus action to, I don't know, dash out of the way or something like that. So anyway, so your main action, get one action, you could do it to attack with a weapon. You could do it to cast a spell. Now spells have different casting times. Many of them have like one action cast time, so that's what you do for your action. Some of them take minutes. Some of them are a bonus action. You get one bonus action max. Um, you could dash with your action instead of attacking or casting, which would be moving your speed. Um, so at the speed of 30, 
you could move 60 feet. You could disengage if you want, which would be moving away from a melee without. Doesn't that give them an opportunity? opportunity? Not if you disengage. You take but it takes action an action. Okay. Yeah. You could dodge. I don't know what dodging is. When you take a dodge action, action, you focus entirely on avoiding attacks until the start of your next turn. You make any attack roll made against you has a disadvantage. Okay. We can talk about advantages and disadvantages in a little while. You can help. By helping, you could be a distraction. So, like, if I wanted to help Steve attack, I could go and stand next to him and the guy he's attacking, and I could be a distraction, and it would give him an advantage on attacking. And there might be more to helping, but we can get to that later. You could hide as your action, which is trying to hide. Hiding is kind of hard. You don't have cover. You can't just hide in the middle of nowhere unless you're unless you have some sort of skill that allows you to. A halfling, for example, can use a large creature to hide behind, where a normal person wouldn't be able to pull that off. That is correct. You can ready. I'm not sure what ready does. I don't remember. You can ready an action. So if like somebody, you're waiting for somebody to do an action. Like, let's say this orc that you're going after. Oh, you lay down conditions. Right. Yeah, you lay down a condition. If this orc hits Steve's character, then I'm going to fire an arrow. So you, it's kind of like holding your action. Or if he um, walks within six feet of me, I'm going to fire on you. Stuff like that. Now, is taking out a weapon an action, or is no, that included? No, no, it's included. Okay. Not like before, where that was like part of you. It took six seconds for me to draw an arrow. I don't think so. Um, you can search as your action, and lastly, you can use an object. So not like drawing a weapon, but using an object like uh, um, you draw a sword. Well, I don't know what it means an object is, but I'm sure it'll come up at some point. Like a healing potion, <laughs> or uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, we mentioned advantage and disadvantage. Sometimes you could have advantage for something for a skill roll or an attack roll. And instead of rolling one dice, you get to roll two and choose the highest. So one example would be there's a feat that a wizard can have advantage when he makes a constitution check to continue casting a spell that he's concentrating on. So instead of rolling one dice, you just roll two and choose the best. Or if you're a rogue, if anybody, and you're hidden, and you attack somebody from being hidden, you have advantage on that attack and choose the highest one. If you're at a disadvantage, you roll two dice and you take the worst one. So, uh, an example where you could be at a disadvantage, even if you have improvision, if the lighting conditions are dim and you're trying to find a trap, you'd be at a disadvantage if you're in the dark, if you're past a certain point of your light vision. And you'd have to roll two dice to look for the trap and take the lowest one. That would be a disadvantage. Um, there's going to be certain effects and spells that advantages and disadvantages and stuff like that. What else? There's no surprise round, so surprised is a condition. It's not, it doesn't penalize somebody from, you don't get like free rounds. I don't remember exactly how it works, we'll have to figure that out when we come to it, but I know there's no surprise round, it's just like a condition. So once, um, and one thing that does come with that that I remember is Let's say somebody has a skill that depends on somebody to be surprised in order for it to work. Like maybe you get extra damage if you hit somebody that's surprised. If you and a monster and the monster's initiative came up, once that monster gets to have an action, he's done being surprised. So if your initiative wasn't higher than the monster's, you wouldn't be able to use that surprise, that action that depended on surprise, because once they go, once their initiative is up, they're no longer surprised. They're only surprised until the last their turn. Once their turn's over, they're not surprised, I should say. And what does surprise do? It gives you disadvantage or something? Yes. And it's not everybody like it was before. Like everybody, oh, everybody's surprised. No, it's just, it's contingent on how you roll. Everybody okay. needs to roll against it. Cool. Because if you come up past like a whole bunch of orcs, and they're not all going to be surprised to see you, you know, some of them are going to be like, "Oh, all right, I figured you were coming." Some of them are just really stupid. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
and my initiative was four. Four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, what you got? Uh, it's it is dexterity dex bonus. Dexterity bonus. Uh, well, uh, let's see here. I have a dexterity of 19, according to my notes here. Holy what? shit! Yeah, he's been rolling really well. I, yeah, Nick is my witness. <laughs> I was like, over here, I, I'll just roll and see what happens, and... Between I rolled an eighteen so on my we dexterity and I got a plus dexterity. one as a, a half uh, as a half elf, so my dexterity is nineteen. Oh, and uh, if I'm reading it right, like I said, I'm still learning. It looks like I have a modifier of plus four for uh, dexterity yep. of nineteen, so I will add plus four to that. Uh-huh. I, I can work with this. Uh, nineteen. Nineteen. I have zero. No. That must be your bonus. You probably have like a 10. Yeah, yeah. he's talking about total number um, underneath. A 10 or an 11. <gasps> oh, gotcha. <laughs> well, mine's 17, I guess, so. I'm thinking to myself, oh, geez, what That's did I That's my do? first thought, too. <laughs> like, plus 19, no one's ever going to get to go first. <laughs> <laughs> so as you're walking along, because, oh, wait, we still got one left, right? Yep. All right. So Still I wanna, got a garbling. I'm gonna shoot him again because they won't stop fighting. Uh, critical failure. There, there's no critical failure. I got a six. <laughs> there isn't my game. Damn it! Cut your foot off. What? No! Ooh. I had a crossbow. <laughs> oh, let me let me roll on this table. You cut your foot off. It flies through the air, hits you in the head, gives you a concussion, and makes you choke on your own tongue, and you're dead. And you're dead. <laughs> and lose one speed. Here, you have to take permanently. The, you have to take the foot off of this now. Completely redo it. <laughs> no, you just miss really bad. Boom. Hey. That's really not cool, guys. <laughs> Call of Cthulhu rules. Your jaw is shattered into 500 pieces. Your crossbow bolt went off a tree and right back in your own skull. It pierced <laughs> both of your testicles. I don't have those. In your sack. And you know why you don't have them? Because this happened. <laughs> Alright, Steve, you're up. So, Tyrus? Oh, uh, what do I do? Sing him to death. <laughs> you probably... <laughs> Play him a little song. <laughs> Play I'll have you know I am quite the skilled duelist. The <laughs> Maybe you should seduce the goblins. <laughs> GM, are they attractive goblins? <laughs> <laughs> it's a fair question. He's got a bump on his head he can do something with. I'm going to say Could probably in my half elven eyes, I don't think I would find that very attractive. I don't know what that. Bag Sweat over his glistening head. off their green little muscles. You know, sometimes people find Danzig okay. attractive. Tight. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> As a bard, I'm sure I'm required a certain sense of open mindedness, but that is just a bridge too far. Even I wouldn't touch that with a 10 foot pole. Like well, for, for those of you listening to learn how to play, <laughs> I'm really starting to regret earphones. Sorry, I'm done. So, uh, I think we found our theme song. <laughs> Little dancing. So, in the in the joy and effort of learning how to play D and D, as this podcast was intended. I uh, I have no idea what I'm... Well, I know what I'm hitting it with, therefore I, I have a rapier as one of my standard items, and it feels that I should put this this poor little bastard out of his misery. Yep. Now, so, I just need to know... Uh, D20 plus one, which is a strength modifier. D20 plus one, and do no, I... That's a, not your strength. He's using... He's uh, using dex. He's dex. using... Uh, so two, your proficiency right. bonus, which is two... Plus and your dex modifier. Plus my dex modifier, which, which is be a 20. plus four. Well, my dexterity is 19. So plus four. four. So the plus four bonus plus. I'm sorry. Plus your d20. Plus my d20. Got it. So plus six. Uh, looks like a sixteen altogether. And you hit him right wherever you want to hit him. I right did not specify, wins. so I assume main body. Uh, you know, it sounds sounds to me like a simple. You know, uh, the way to a the way to a man's heart is between the fourth and fifth rib uh, cage. Your, your so, damage uh, would be the weapon's damage. Plus your oh, don't worry about it. Dairy modifier. Well, for for the sake of learning the game, for those who are listening, 
I need to find the damage of what a rapier does. Where would I find such a thing? I probably would find that in weapons, I would bet. Which weapons would be page 146, if I'm not mistaken. Page 149. Oh, As my. a bard, you're eventually going to have to sing a tune. So, oh, is there I'll, a I death tune? I can tell you that a rapier does 1d8. A 1d8, you say. <laughs> Piercing, if you're so inclined. And I assume, is there any damage bonuses from... Your, because it's a finesse weapon, you get to add your dexterity oh, bonus nice. damage. You do not add your proficiency bonus in damage. So in this case, it is well, it is a 1d8 plus 4 is what you're telling me. I'm not saying that. I I honestly have no idea how adept I am. <laughs> you don't have to mock me over here. I didn't know I was so good at this. <laughs> so, so, so I know, 1d8 plus 4 is sort of damage. Here we go. And altogether, it is a nine. A formidable uh, oh. And it falls dead. Am I demon? I I... <laughs> Can I get my bolts back, or are Sorry. they gone? No, they're they're stuck in there. You okay, back. but someone was shooting arrows at us, right? We gotta find them. Do you have a quiver? I quiver all the time. <laughs> <laughs> How attractive is our gnome companion? <laughs> she's, she's very about, yeah, dirty. She's just about yay high. She's, she's filthy. <laughs> she doesn't not bathe in a good often. Way. <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> she's got a very natural smell. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh. Yeah, kind of uh, and in and a fresh bar of soap, who knows? <laughs> she might polish up soap. It smells like moss she, and moss. She, she might polish mind. up like a new was it elect electron? What was the what was this? The electrum. Yeah, she'll polish <laughs> up like a new electrum. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna make it my quest to get all the electrum I can hold, just because it sounds bizarre. So can we search around and see if maybe ah, they drop yes. something? Yeah, you can check them. It, perhaps they, uh, you know, perhaps they have items that they well, let's be honest, they will not be using them anymore or needing them. Do I need to roll anything to take my bolts back, or just take them? Just take them back. Okay. So would that be investigation? Sure. Should I have a minus one on that one? Uh oh. It's so, searching. It's so searching is as as an action. So let's let's treat it as the action. Yeah. Let's not do investigate. Investigate's more like you're going around town asking oh, for that. Oh, okay. I would see this as more Investigate perception, wouldn't Investigate is it? you yeah. want to know how somebody got a wound or what part of this wall you can hit to make the cave fall down. Okay. Um, you can use it to investigate for traps, sort of, if you're actively searching. You can, I think I read something where you can use investigation to work through there. But a search... I lost it. So... Oh, I'm in spells. I went way too far. All right. To search. When you take a search action, you devote your attention to finding something. Depending on the nature of your search, the DM might have you make a wisdom perception check or an intelligence investigation check. It's a goblin. Just go ahead and search. <laughs> so do I have to roll? No. Okay. Okay, I search. Okay, it's got a crappy loincloth on him. <laughs> Literally. It's got some crappy boots. She's and a gonna, short sword. She's going to steal the boots. I'm going to... Oh, I can't. I'm not a thief. What? Can I take this short sword? If you want short it. Short sword. <laughs> sure. Um, I don't know, because I have a lot of stuff. You could leave it there and take it with you later. Okay, I'll do that. Anybody else want to search them? Perhaps, uh, perhaps they have loose change that I can relieve them of. I will search as well. Hey, what do yeah. I need to roll for that? <laughs> for no, really belligerent. I was like, "Hey, assholes!" And I was talking to you guys. <laughs> they don't have any money on. Them. I'll walk up and apologize. Hey, to assholes! Them. Do any of them have a bow? Do I require a perception roll to s that they were firing arrows at us? My uh, my my wisdom is only ten. Let's let's be honest. I, they both I, have uh, short swords. 
so how so who it... was firing the uh, the arrows at gee us? that's a good question maybe you guys should split up and wander into the forest split the party I'm gonna walk up to the uh, dead goblins and say I'm super sorry you made us kill you I feel really bad about it I didn't want to so you notice up ahead of you there's an opening to a cave it's about 30 feet up it's just a grass line trail going up there with a whole bunch of trees on each side. I'd like to go. go but where? we do have a job to do. We should maybe go back and clear the horses and keep moving. How far away are we from our, our destination, monk? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he does not inspire confidence. <laughs> It's about a 12-hour ride. Do we have a deadline, or are they just waiting for us to get there? They should be waiting for And you. what's in the cart? Give me a... Just supplies? Yes. I mean, we can't just leave the cart here. No, we can't. Oh. Yeah, we, we can't leave. We've cast. been here minutes, and already we've been ambushed. Who we knows what would happen it. while we're away? We can't leave cast the ass. <laughs> of course not. Guys, I really think maybe we should just move the horses and keep on going, and then after our job's done, we can come back and explore the cave. Move the dead horses? We have to. They're in the road. You know how much those weigh? I would imagine with group effort, we could certainly move them and be on our way. That's a team spirit. No, I think we should certainly grab a bunch of the meat and sell it once we get to the outlet. That's gross. (laughs) I, um... I'm not really proficient in slaughter. I mean, butchering. She is a vegan. <laughs> My character is and, not, and, though. And no? the fact that they have been rotting in the sun for the day, I don't believe they're very appetizing. Well, that depends on who you sell them to. I'm going to make a survival check to cut off a flank of horse or two. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, damn it. That's three ones in a row. <laughs> I will sell it to Taco Bell. <laughs> I... I, I rolled very poorly. <laughs> I, I just made a mess of this horse. It's disgusting. I didn't get any meat. I'm gonna walk I over. pierced its intestines and stomach, and now gonna, it stinks really, really bad. It's horrible. I'm going to walk over. Oh, I got it on my robes. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. I'm not going to do anything. No, I'm going to walk over, and I'm going to look at it and go, um, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Okay, give me a perception per- check while you look at that horse. Per- perhaps we should be on our way. Because I cannot its, stand this smell. I'm going to grab its back leg and just, a, like, lean. It's try a, to move uh, it, but nothing's happening. Ah, I'm going gonna, gonna to come to your aid. Hey, morons. It's a six. You guys can use cast to pull those horses out of the way. I'm just you looking want. at a horse, man. It doesn't take a huge perception to recognize this horse. You, you've been around this horse for however long you've been working for Rodrin. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not Maximus. Maximus. In the excitement, I did not realize I recognized the horse. Tangled? This is not. This is not a good sign. You guys were saying I've had my eye on this horse's flank for years. (laughs) Maximus. Do we? Can I? Maybe I was talking about gladiator. Is it perception or investigate to see if I see any um, evidence of investigate human harm? Maybe we should all investigate. Very well. Even though I'm covered in horse gore. Fifteen total. Fuck yeah! (laughs) Uh, Alright, so for the newbies out there, as I'm learning, uh, intelligence of fourteen, so plus two to my roll then, right? For investigation? Correct. Perfect. Alright, I have a eleven. Coming from three rolls of one, I finally got a twenty. It was bound so, to happen eventually, so my friend. So, ones and 20s. I was about only. to give you bardic inspiration if, him, I was <laughs> if happy you failed your next one. I got a 25 to investigate. I'm just super worried about these guys. Understandably so. I mean, their they're, they're horses are lying dead in the road. I went over to the side of the what road here to, to their barf, riders? and I happened to find... <laughs> <laughs> That's a fair point. He had a 20. I'm curious what he's seeing. So you figure out that the horses have been, had, you know, have been dead for about a day. And you know that they were killed by the black arrows. And there's also, look like, drag marks leading towards the cave mouth. Oh, well, I guess that decides where we're going. Hey, I just puked on these drag marks. 
Well, uh, Armida wants to run to the cave as fast as she can. What about your friends, the horses? You're just gonna let them out here bake in the middle of the road? They're already dead. We have to try and save our friends. I mean, our horse, the horses were our friends. I agree. But I'm it's not too fucking late moving the horses. <laughs> I'm gonna follow her. Armida's the cave. gonna run to the cave. Jesus Christ, I'm gonna drive the cart towards the cave. I'm gonna, yeah, I was gonna go back to the cart. Good thinking. I'm running. Go back to the cart? Um, oh, absolutely. Panic mode. I go where she goes. <laughs> she is my patron. There's more to it than carnal pleasures. Sure. Mm-hmm. Sure. Okay, so... <laughs> oh, so... So we split. So you guys are going back to the... Well, Armita... Cart. Damn straight. You guys are going back to the cave. Armita I'm is basically social. just... One thought mind, one track a, mind, gotta okay. save my friends. <laughs> a good aligned murder hobo. Right? <laughs> <laughs> what is Ming doing? I'm following uh, Ming's giving me a hand job. I'm running a rope. <laughs> well, there went your kid <laughs> listening to this episode. <laughs> oh, that shit. was gone a long time ago. <laughs> I'm going towards the cave. You're not giving me a hand job? <laughs> he can do both. I thought we had a run, deal, man. Run, run, run. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> He's a halfling, right? It'd be more like this. <laughs> and by hand win. job, I mean patty cake. <laughs> like Roger Rabbit. <laughs> patty cake. Patty cake. Patty cake. Mommy, patty what's patty a cake? hand job? Patty cake. Patty cake. Patty cake. Patty cake. Patty cake. Okay, so initiative again. We're going to use the same initiative before, or? No way. Nope. All right. I rolled like, like shit. 10. 19. 17. Earl, do I need to roll? Are you in the cart? You guys are, are staying by the cart, right? Oh, I'm going back to the cart. Well, we can all roll. Yeah, go ahead. So just roll. Roll with it. Baby. <laughs> I don't know what I'm rolling for, but I got a 10. So initiative, initiative. is you roll yep. your, add your dex bonus. She doesn't have a bonus. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> 14. All right. Kirk, Sonia, what color skin and hair did you want? You told me at one point. Give but me I don't have uh, brown skin, blue hair. Give me a perception check. Light brown or? Yeah, like a light brown. Yeah, it'd be a, a 6. <laughs> um, like the color on the like this. Or the, sh- the shield would be good. That kind of brown? Yeah, I like that kind of brownish. What kind of blue? Uh, it doesn't um, matter what kind of blue. What'd you get? Kind of like Six. this color blue. Tardis like a darker blue. blue. You do not hear or see an arrow come at you. Uh-oh. Oh, great. Where is it going to hit me? You're fucked. In a good way. Yeah. Children. <laughs> it's a good thing I got a high dexterity. That makes it okay. <laughs> Ten versus AC. Thirteen. So he misses you, but you still have an arrow that flies past your head. I move so fast I catch it. Perception check. Actually, Arn, you want to give me a perception check too? Of course. Twelve. Fourteen. Okay. So he gets a twenty-one on his stealth check against Arn, and he critical failed against you. Woo-hoo! So actually, you wouldn't even. I'm. S- so he fires an arrow and goes right past you. Okay. But I know where he's at now, right? Right. Ha ha. Ha ha. That's that's a. And they're they're done. So you guys want to go ahead? Because that's their surprise kind of way of doing. Because we're just running straight we're into just it. Running. Instead of like, like, kind of like walking slowly, because you know that there's two more of them, mm. and you just ran in there. They are going to try to surprise you, and that's okay. how they do surprises in this game. So who's up first? Ming Mang. I've got to start using the Ming Mang. Ming Mang. Ming Mang is up. Ming Mang. Were you on the card or off the card? I All can't right. Remember. For my first action. I'm going to attack it with my short sword. That would be 12. 
no. Okay. That all you got? For my bonus action, I'm going to karate kick it in the in the head. Fourteen. Oh, look at Fancy Pants with his kicking. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, what are you going to do? Poke my eye out? Is that your next action? Hawk, hawk, hawk. <laughs> so that wasn't a hit? No, not a hit. What the fuck are we doing? Who the hell are we fighting? My turn. Crossbow. Oh, Whoa. natural 20. 25 total. Boom. You done pissed me off. She may look sweet, but she kick, she kicks ass. 1d8. Ah, 8 plus 3, 11. You've got my friends, and I'm not okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> and he's he's just... What are you, what are you using to hit him with? The, the short sword? Crossbow. Crossbow, okay. Yeah, he's he falls out of the tree, and he's like, Oh! I still feel really <laughs> bad about this. Wow. <laughs> I feel... Oddly inadequate. <laughs> Good thing I'm a amazing. monk and I'm a pacifist. Hyperius. What? You're up. Look, finger. I'm going to calmly drive the cart towards the cave as far as I can. But finger. <laughs> okay. Through, through the woods? <laughs> if I can make it. <laughs> it's Slowly. Gonna, it's going to be tight. Might want to give me a, a drive check. <laughs> Better lube it up. Animal handling. <laughs> 17. Alright, nice. It's tight, but you grabbed up there. I'm good at that. <laughs> Real good at that, Meng. <laughs> Tyrus? You just writing on the card? He's playing a love song for his woman. I, I suspect I would be on the car loading my hand crossbow, which I just realized I had, according to my equipment. Because this looks like a ranged battle to come. When you're done fiddling with that tiny little shaft, why don't you play us some deep music? Ah! A, a montage. It's the eye of the I want you to get a goddamn ukulele and bring it with you turn, next time. Turn, turn, turn. Do they have play. Turn, GM? Turn, do they have ukuleles? No, I mean in real life. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you're confusing me because you're speaking in character to real life situations. I can't work with these. This ones, is my huh? new real voice. <laughs> 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 this here is my new personality that I just made up. I'm sure, though, something looks like a ukulele around. <laughs> Mandolin. I have a ukulele. Don't tap me. I shall add yeah, a ukulele to uh, since I since I have three instruments to work with. I will uh, I will just for you. I will I will add ukulele. All right, Sahara, what are you doing? I'm sitting in the cart. Sit. Why don't you <laughs> Why don't you give us a blessing? Tan. She's working on her tan. Bless me. <laughs> I don't have anything for. Okay. Fight, we so. don't need that. We need blessings. Oh wait, he's out of the You're tree. You're a priest. You need to buff our They're ass. They're both dead. Oh. They're both dead. What? I thought we only got one. Yeah. There was two that were. Oh, on the that's ground. right. He missed. Yeah. yeah he was, you, you hit him. Okay. Yeah. There's still one left. There's still one. Okay. So, how far is the cart? Okay. Twenty feet. You can still run that and hit him. I can. If you can find him. Your perception is. What's your perception? What is perception? Uh, down there. Plus one. Okay, give me a perception check. Because they're really good at hiding. Nineteen. Oh, okay. You you spot him. <laughs> He's right there. Okay, so I'm going to run and hit, attempt to hit him with my mace. Okay. He's about five feet off the ground in the low branch. He's like ten feet tall. Nineteen. Okay, yeah. <laughs> how much? How much damage are you gonna do? Let's see here. One to six. Five. That's all the damage you do. Mm-hmm. There's no. Bonus. Sometimes we roll low. Wow. Okay. Is that with your bonus? Three plus two. We're not Rambo Tep here. We're not. We're not <laughs> okay. doing we're 120 like, points of late, damage. We're at level one. Okay. Did she one. knock him out of the tree at least? Depends on if he passes an acrobatics check. Not with a five. Uh, 
You just drive him back into the stump or into the trunk of the tree. Okay. All right. Now Am it's I his turn. Oh, yes. So you got up in his face. Uh-oh. Oh, get all up in his face. So a goblin has a plus four to hit with his short bow. Actually, no, he's going to use a scimitar on you. So he's got... I'm stealing that. Plus four to hit. So Scimitars. he's got a 23 uh, against your AC. What's my... What's an AC? Armor, Armor class. class. 16. So he hits you. Oh, fabulous. Fabulous! So he does 1d6 plus 2 damage. Roll a 1. Roll, roll a, a one. 1. 5 damage. Ugh. Oh. So where do I where do I record that at? Uh, you get points. HPs. What is that at? You're gonna minus five. Oh no! Are you dead? She's only got nine. Uh-oh. How much did he do? Squishy. Five. Huh? Then you have a heal, right? So you, are you at zero hit points? You have a healing spell, no. right? I got four now. Okay. It's hard to die. Spell, right? It's hard to die. I, I don't a... know. I almost halfway died at. You have you a healing spell, right? Zero. It's hard to die. Yeah. Don't worry about it. I bought a healing pack. So we're we're gonna go down. Kit. I'm trying to see we're if we're first I have... level. I mean, I have seven hit points. Eleven. Maybe you shouldn't be so big. <laughs> 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 hey, goblin! Never comment on a lady's size. Come on, short stuff. Let's do this. Bet well, you can't even reach plus up here. Five, seventeen. Oh fuck! You can. <laughs> Seven. Uh, is that uh, is that blood? What? Uh, I told you not to comment on a lady's size. Uh, uh, come on. Uh, You're not dead yet. No. <laughs> can you hand me yet? my bolt back? <laughs> you can have it over my cold dead body. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Ming Ming. Try to hit him this time. I'm going to try to uh, slice him in half with my, my short sword. You're a monk. You should have a sword. <laughs> Which modifier is that? Is it strength or dexterity? I don't know. Are it you, should are you be next a, to your what's sword. What's best? You're using a short sword? What's okay. best strength so or dex? Seven, uh, well, I do have an attack bonus of plus two, so it's 17. Well, no. A, a short sword is a finesse weapon, so you can choose to use Wait a minute. How many damage did you do to him? Uh, or your dex bonus. Plus it looks like your dex bonus is you did better a lot too than your strength, right? Yeah, so you want to go dex. So 16 would be 3. And okay. 5. Plus 2, which is your proficiency. Bonus. I so think to hit, six. you're adding 5. 20. 20 damage? No, 20 to hit you. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Overpowered. that, you would add your dex bonus. So 3. 3. three. That. He just falls out of the tree before you even hit him. From like previous wounds. <laughs> nice. I he was don't just even running on credit. adrenaline. I just don't get the credit. He was just running on adrenaline. <laughs> nice. like, Thanks a lot. <laughs> you can't kill me. And then you'd like charge up your fist. And he's like, Ugh. yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. I do have another hit. Oh, yeah. Is You're he dead punch- yet? Is yes, he dead? dead. Why okay. don't you punch your own clown? <laughs> I will collect two bolts because that's what I used. Okay. So they're both down. I'm still heading for the cave if no one's stopping me. Hey, Ming Mang. Yo. Do me a favor. Grab his bow for me and his arrows. And if I do that, I'm <laughs> keeping it. I'm glad you said bow. <laughs> if I go over there and collect his bow, I'm keeping it. Then I'll have two bows. And you won't have none. That sounds like a real dick move. <laughs> Not very monk-like. So there's, what what there's order are you from? The, the dickhead order? I don't know. You named your, your ass Cass. What's it to you? I don't know. I just felt like saying ass cast. There is two goblins. Both of them have right, short yeah. bows. I will get the bow cars. for Buttfinger. And the here. arrows and the quiver. Buttfinger gets a the quiver and the, the bow and the arrows. His short bows are goddamn expensive and I wasn't made out of money like the rest of you. <laughs> short bows is... Or short bow. Short bows. Short bows. <laughs> Got a range of 80 feet. How many, how many arrows? Five. Five arrows? What a load of crap. So there's ten. So there's two. Fuck, I'll take them all. Two quivers. I couldn't afford a bow. I had to buy a sling. I'm one... fucking <laughs> chucking rocks at people. <laughs> <laughs> I have a dagger and a sling. <laughs> and no armor. Because that shit's expensive. <laughs> Should I put my sword away? 
echo the way of the dragon <laughs> and fight with only my hands and my feet to make the DM happy. <laughs> No way! Fuck the DM. Who's the DM? Use the rules to your advantage. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm good with it. Ooh, fuck the DM and his tight little sphincter. <laughs> By sphincter, I mean something kids don't even know what a sp- you don't even know what a sphincter is. Go look it up on the internet. No, don't do that, children. <laughs> Please do not do that. No, stay off the internet. It'll rot your cute little brains. <laughs> <laughs> Type this into Google exactly. Right up the sphincter. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> if children are listening to this, then they probably already know what a sphincter is. As sphincter <laughs> says what? <laughs> what? So a narrow dry path leads into the cave. On the right side is a stream. Oh, you can How pay. big is the stream? Uh, 20 feet. Do I need to cross 10 it? Feet? 10 feet. 10 Do feet we wide. need to cross the streams? <laughs> Never cross the stream. Yeah, you could. Or I you can walk up the stream. the stream. I'm going to fill up my water skin. Ooh, good idea. Mine's full, I think. I'm just going to keep going. Tell me when I need to roll. <laughs> okay, who took damage? I did. I did. Is there a cleric in the group? There should yes, be. Can me. you heal yourself? I've been asking for like 20 minutes. Do you have a heal spell? Do you have a heal spell? Oh, you were spell? talking to me? If you're <laughs> smart, you don't get hit. <laughs> no, I wasn't talking to the cleric in the group. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Let's see, where's my spells? <laughs> I can create and destroy water. Oh, destroy the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's going to heal your hit points. I'm worried about getting to the cave. Finding my friends whom I don't remember the names of. It's okay, I can't remember. I, I also names. have healing word as a magic <laughs> I wrote spell everyone's names necessary. down as we were playing. I got Armida. 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 Okay, so what do I have to do to cast my spell? What does it say? This I don't is Lord Buttfinger right here. <laughs> Luckfinger. I Luck have finger. you as Hyperius. That's my full name. That's my proper name. Okay. I'm Hyper Luckfinger. <laughs> Hyper Luckfinger. And you're Ming Mang, I'm sorry. Luckfinger. I guess I am Ming Mang. You're what's, Ming uh, Mang. What's uh, Ming Mang? The cleric who didn't know she had healing spells name? Sahara Von Garkin. I didn't write the full names down. And uh, Latin lover over there, what's your name? Rodrigo, I'm, Rodrigo, I'm, I'm Tyrus Orango. You got a big enough uh, dice roller there? Oh my god. Oh dice. god. I had purified Jealous. food. We could have purified the horses. Yeah, think of all the money we could have made. <laughs> <laughs> but there are friends. I'm going to use her ability as a spell like spell ability. What, what, what do you mean? Read it again. 1d4 plus your spell casting ability, ability modifier. Spell, is it wisdom? Should yeah. be. Yeah. Okay. So, a d4 plus 1. Okay. Your wisdom plus wisdom? Can I ask a stupid question? It's the triangle one. It's the triangle, it's the one. triangle one. This mm-hmm. one. The pyramid. There you go. Oh, there it is. It was hidden. <laughs> kind of. Almost a pyramid. Okay. There goes the door again. <laughs> That's in the cave. Now, yeah. another stupid question. The top one. Two. One that is right side up. Okay. Sometimes it's not always the top one. It's not Sometimes stupid. Two plus I've one. I've asked it too. There, there are two boys in the so you're back I've up. got some that so are on I the have, bottom. I have three. So you get three, you get oh, three hit points back. So you're back up to seven. Who are you doing that to? You doing that to him? you or are you doing I'm doing it to, to myself. I think she's the, the only one who got hit. I think, yeah, yeah she was the only one that got hit. Even here. So even with the cleric, healing in this version of D&D is really only like in between battles. We do most of your healing by the rest of a short rest or a long rest. A long rest to kill everything. Yep. Even I have, I have second a wind. Long rest. <laughs> but actually, my... And as a bard, I would like to add action. that I can offer a song of rest as necessary. Sing it. That sounds amazing. Sing Are we it. actually going to rest before we go in the cave? No. I mean, I feel I, fine. I feel I'm fine, running. too. I, this is no time to rest, my friends. WWDD. What would dancing do? 
<laughs> Whose motto is that? It's not mine. Okay, so we're in, we're in the cave. Did now? I make it? Do we make what? it in the cave? Am I in the t- cave? In the cave? Yes. <laughs> what I'm looking to do is get the cart as close to the cave as possible. If it means crossing the stream, only if it's safe. This cave's like four feet deep. Then I'm going to use stealth oh, to camouflage. That's a good thing. I'm three that's foot tall. Bigger than me. I'm going to use stealth to camouflage the cart with leaves and branches and shit like that. We're going to have to tie off the uh, the mules close enough to the stream so they can drink, but not too close to the cave. Just inside the cave mouth, a few uneven stone steps lead into a small, dark chamber on the east side of the passage. The cave narrows to a steep fissure at the far end and is filled with the stench of animals. Savage snarls and the sounds of rattling chains greet your ears, where three wolves are chained just inside the opening. Each wolf's chains leads to an iron rod driven into the base of a stalagmite. Armida's gonna stop and wait for the rest of the party. You're not gonna go pet him? My friends are important, Maybe they're friendly wolves. Could you imagine how much bigger they are than my (laughs) three-foot-two-inch gnome? You could ride those fuckers. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> nope. Who needs I'm, a horse? I'm gonna wait. Short sword at the ready in case the wolves break free, but I'm waiting for the party. Guys, guys, hurry up! Nothing? She's kind of bossy. <laughs> Alright, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm almost there. I got what? little legs. One in my profession might say dominating, and I am alright with this. When I get to the cave, I'm gonna sneak in. Ooh, you. Sneak into the cave. I don't know that you could sneak in since I'm screaming at you guys. <laughs> <laughs> There's wolves in here. We're right here. I don't want to hurt Armina. them. Armina's letting everybody know where we're at. Armida. Armida. <laughs> Armada. Armada. Armida. Armada. 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 <laughs> Lady Armada. That's my Arm- bond. My clans and friends are the most important thing to me in the world. <laughs> where does that leave me? I don't Dead. know yet. <laughs> <laughs> You're dead. Well, Sonia's almost out. He yawned before I did. I didn't see him yawn. I saw you yawn. No, he yawned about 15 minutes ago. You're worse than Takeshi 6 9. <laughs> You're just ratting everybody out. <laughs> uh huh. He's the one that got me yawning. Well. Uh, Takeshi Six so, Nine, if you're listening to this podcast, please don't send anybody to are, shoot me. Are we uh, going to call the episode here now? <laughs> yeah, we're dying down, I think. What? And then yes. you can set the intro next time outside the cave. I think it sounds very climactic. And you know what the fan I am of a good climax. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, everybody, that's been fun. And it's been Nick as your DM. Kirk. Arn. Shannon. Sonia. Steve. Leave a, leave a comment for us. Yes, please subscribe, rate, and review. How do we know that you hate everything unless you tell us? We need to know, people. <laughs> it's the internet, for God's we, sakes. We, what are you hiding for? We would really <laughs> like to know just how much you hate us. Or love us. I hate that guy with the nasally voice. He's so annoying. Why does he have all these I shows? hate that girl that giggles all the time. God! <laughs> All right, guys, and gonna... why is Kirk such a piece of shit? I hear that a lot. Well, I... that's just true to life. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I am the nicest one in here. <laughs> you are. Well, I would like to think that I am, but... We know who we're picking on for Munchkin. <laughs> <laughs> I get picked on anyway, so what will be different? I won't pick on you just because you're you. Bullshit. Only you if it leads to an advantage to you me. Name, you <laughs> named the goddamn ass and Cass. <laughs> That's the best thing ever. <laughs> I just love that. I'm sorry. Bye. Bye. See ya.
King is dead.